Hey YouTube, aka Soggy Buns here, and today we're gonna do a video about getting started with Visual Studio Community 2017 and C Sharp. Uh, Beginner's Guide by AKA, AKA Soggy Buns, that's me. Um, what this video is, is it's just an uh, introduction on how to get Visual Studio set up, and it's the free ver version of video Visual Studio. Um, and now this is just a very, very high overview of learning to code in C Sharp. It's by no means uh, a deep, deep dive into C Sharp about learning about the data types and the methods and the namespaces. I mean, we're going to touch them in this tutorial, but it's not a, you know, a deep, deep dive. A, a little quick how-to on how to install Visual Studio and how to um, get your first app up and running. And then uh, after the, this video, or a series of videos, I'll make another video on how to make uh, something a little bit more uh, in depth. Uh, so stay tuned for that as well. So let's begin by getting Visual Studio Community 2017. And again, this is a free download of Visual Studio. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll exit out of our presentation real quick. And if you'll go to www.visualstudio.com downloads, uh, you'll see right here the download link for Visual Studio Community 2017. So go ahead, uh, click the free download button. It's going to go ahead and download. Um, and then once that's done, go ahead and launch it. It's going to extract the file. It's going to do its, its deal. Go ahead, click continue. Uh, give us a few minutes. We'll be done soon. Okay, now that Visual Studio 2017 is initialized, what we're going to do is we're just going to do the Windows or Universal Windows Platform development. Uh, this is so you can create applications for Universal Windows Platform with C Sharp, Visual Basic, JavaScript, or C++. And uh, like this video says, what we're going to do is we're going to do C Sharp. So we'll go ahead and click that one. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and click uh, anything else uh, if you're interested in, in doing any of these others. There's Python. Um, some web development. Um, I'm actually just going to do this one because of a future video that we might do. We might use that one. So you might, might as well want to do that as well. And then uh, this for some other videos, maybe we might want this one. So go ahead and click uh, Universal Windows Platform Development, .NET Desktop Development, and ASP .NET and Web Development. And then any of these other ones if you're interested in doing that. And if you can cut see, uh, just because we have these three platforms, it's nine gigs. Um, so that's up to you. But I would suggest selecting these three just if you're going to follow on, on my channel for learning C Sharp. It's going to go ahead and install. This will take a little bit. We'll go ahead and speed up this video. Once it's done installing, we'll come right back. So once you open up Visual Studios, go ahead and click File, View, Project. And then what we're going to do uh, for this video, let's just do a regular uh, Windows Classic version. And let's just do a, just a WPF app. It's just a classic. Block. 
can just go over here to your Squeech Nick score. If you don't have a Squeech Nick, you're just kind of showing the score of you. And then you have Squeech Nick score, control alt l Okay, uh, go to your um, app. And then on the CS. Uh, and when your app launches up. Or actually, sorry. Go to, uh, go to this one. Go to main window. Initialize component. As you see, we got all of these namespaces here. Uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll add any new ones for this one. You go ahead and just type text block one dot text equals howdy. Well, you gotta put it in a string. Put it in a string. Howdy, YouTube. Put a semicolon. Press Control S. Go ahead and press Start. Make sure on debug any CPU. It's going to go ahead and launch that window. Uh, if you watch the output, I'll tell you if it builds successfully. Looks like it's, it built, built just fine. said how to YouTube. Okay, so that's basically like the hello world of a WPF app. Um, so let's go ahead and let's make it just a little bit more interesting just for the sake of this video. Um, go ahead and go to the toolbox. Uh, press J. Oh. Yeah, go into this one. Press toolbox and then let's go ahead and let's just put the text box. function, the public main window function, that's what it calls and initializes that window, that's what happens to the app. Don't quote me on that. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do a public and we'll do a void because we're not returning any um, objects or data types. Public void and then uh, we'll just call this one any parameters, go to the brackets, and then on this one, just do, uh, we did text box one equals, oh sorry, text box one dot text equals text block, block one dot text, oh no, sorry, moving backwards, text block Text equals. That's kind of an interesting thing. If you have the squigglies, the strength of the error, just hover over it with your mouse. See, it says show potential fix. Go ahead and click on that. And let's see. It's saying, hey, are you meaning this? So yeah, we'll just go ahead and click on it. Okay, text box uh, one dot text equals text box dot one dot text. I hope that's not too confusing. Semicolon. And if you just hover over it, see uh, the text type is a string. So we're doing string equals a string. And so basically what we're doing is uh, if someone types in the text box, it'll change the text of the text block. But what we'll need to do is we'll need to put in a button to change the text. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the toolbox and we'll add a button. I don't see it right. Oh, there it is. We'll add a button. And we'll just put it down here. Actually, let's organize a little bit. Thanks. Nice. 
go ahead and double click on the button. It'll actually create the function for you for when that button's clicked. So if you see it's a private void, and private just because it's um, to this class of the main window. Uh, button one, click, and then it has an object of a sender and then some event arguments of E. But we're not going to use those for this. We can still pass those parameters, but we're not going to use them. So then what we'll do is when this button is clicked, we will call get text box. Actually, we'll change this to get text box Or actually, we'll call it update. Oh, let's not confuse it too much. We'll change this update um, text box text. It doesn't take any parameters, but we need the parentheses to say that we're calling this function. And so when this button's pressed, it will comments just to say um, update the text block equal the text box text. And this one okay so let's go ahead let's debug that see how that goes Starts, I should say how to YouTube. Sorry, that's a little off, but I press update text. You see it updates the text. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I guess that's a good start into uh, your first C sharp app. Um, so go ahead. Check out the website, aka soggybuns.website, for a more uh, better blog post. It's, the link's down in the description. Um, and stay tuned for more videos on C Sharp.